All this first started off with me, with this, my coat of arms. My last name is Route. So, doing the research from the name Route, I started looking into it. So I realized, what does it mean? So, from the coat of arms, this popped up. Along with it, it says, Old English root, which means rut. Mm, rut. It says, component in the words ruddock, which means ruddy. And ruddock, itself, which means red breast, the surname, was originally a nickname for a ruddy complexion, a red haired person, or perhaps for someone who's habitually wore the color red, the surname ruddy may be also a local name derived from the residence at the road that is resident near a crossroad. Okay, now, then I found this. Then I looked here in the Zondervan's compact dictionary and the dictionary says that the definition for the word ruddy is a word used to refer to a fair complexion person or a red complexion person contrast to the dark skin of the Hebrews. Hmm. I was like, what? Dark skin? Like the Hebrews? But then I said, wait a minute. Just let me take a DNA test and see what happened. And what do you know? I'm connected to Ireland. Highly likely match to Ireland. Hmm. So I was like, whoa, am I Irish? So I started doing a little bit more research. I started really digging into the, you know, the actual, you know, DNA test. So I read and read. At first, you know, I read it and read it and I got to this point. And, you know, how I got to this point was I had to read, you know, I, you know all the percentages. It says, you know, 24% this, 24% this, 24% or 23% this, or whatever that adds up to 100. And that was what it makes you up. But no, what those percentages are is your connection to those lands and those people. So me being E1B1A and connected to none other than Ramses III and Misraim, or what they call Egypt today. Actually, I'm an ancient paternal lineage holder. So we share ancestry. Hmm. So I was like, man, wow, that's a lot, you know? That's a lot. So it made me realize that I do carry the Israelite genes in the bloodline. But then, you know, after seeing that Irish thing, I was still a little bit of wish rush, but then I kept doing research and I came up with the Jacobites. And then the Jacobites were connected as far as Ireland that I realized and I found out that the Irish people, the whole island was melanated all the way down to the Celts, all the way down to the Druids. I mean, the island was even discovered by a man named Britain who was none other than the tribe of Judah's Prince of Troy, who ended up in Britain. Changed the name to Britain because he used to be Albino, which the king was Albino, and he was a giant, and the land was inhabited by giants. So that made this guy take all those giants and start the land of Britain and Ireland, and all that came by along with it, along with Scotia, he was a princess. From this, Pharaoh's court. So I was like, wow, Jacobites. So yeah, I dug and dug and dig and deeper into it. And I realized that I was a Jacobite, so I started digging more into it and I seen more coats of arms. Like, this one right here. Really? Ready? Wow. And this one like this. It looks just like the first one that I showed you, the right one. So, they showed me that we were the same family, same people. So it made me dig for more. And that's when I came up with this. This is a map that traces back, you know, the ancestors of the different tribes and clans in Ireland. My clan is ruddy, so these are the areas 
the darker they are, the more habitation of the ruddy clan. So I was like, yes, I'm really convinced now. So with the DNA saying, right here, Irish. And I started doing more research on the Jacobites and I realized it made sense. Because a lot of people in America hold the Irish and Scottish last names and British last names. And then also, there's many of us in the islands, the Caribbean islands. I realized that there was a lot of wars and that they had shipped us to all these islands and the Virgin Islands and the whole Caribbean area and the West Indies. So look at what else I found in my recent BAM Jamaican recent ancestry. Then I knew. So I was like, man, this is too much, too much evidence. Makes too much sense. So I did a little more research and I came up with this guy. This right here, this right here, is Oliver Cromwell, Lord Protector of England. See, actually, he is the one that deported us and put us into slavery on the sugar plantations in Jamaica. It all started in 1641 when it all set off, you know what I'm saying? When he beheaded this guy, King Charles I. King Charles I was beheaded. He was the son of King James VI and the I of England, who actually had a good grip on the kingdom. He kept, you know, I guess he was good because he converted, you know, he held it down for the Church of England. But due to his switch to Catholicism, England wasn't having it, so the Lord protected Oliver Cromwell Use that to make his move in, and he beheaded old King Charles I. Yes, he did. And like I said, he was the successor of this guy, who is the original King James I of England and the sixth of Scotland, Ireland, and France. So, do your research. You could also be a direct descendant, King James Charles Stewart. So if you could, if you're a Stewart, there's a very good chance that you are a descendant of the Jacobites. Tap in with me, and maybe I can help you. Let's just watch my previous video, and it'll help you start out just as I do. Shalom, enjoy your day. I'm King Randy Ruddy. One that makes you steady.